A local woodworker is rebuilding a 1937 Reading caboose that was severely damaged in a fire more than 10 years ago. I'm Rachel Kennelly, and that's the focus of this week's Buzz and Bucks. Originally, the idea is to take it back to its, the way it was originally, and it'll be done red. It'll have Reading Railroad on it, all the original markings. We're totally going to put it back the way it was original, but we're taking it one step beyond that. A lot of us here have been got ties to it. So it's sort of, we'll put a lot of money out just because it's memories. We, we won't do it to another caboose, but we will restore this. And um, one time there was a big wedding in this at New Hope and there's just so many memories. And that's, that's where the bottom line is. We'll do it for the love of the memory. Um, essentially, we're trying to use all the old parts that are available to us. So we've been able to refurbish them and clean them up. Um, for, for all the steel, though, it's all new because it all burned up and, and warped in a fire. Well, I think we're all creatures of, of our memories, you know, and we want to um, preserve things that we, we know of and um, have a feeling and a passion for. So, I mean, and this is, you know, how big of a passion can you have about railroading? The goal is for SMS Rail Lines to have the caboose up and running and back on the tracks within a year. Reporting from Falls for the Bucks County Courier Times and Intelligencer Newspapers, I'm Rachel Kennelly, and that's the buzz in Bucks. And uh, we're sort of dying just to see it done. And uh, it's going to be neat. And then if it gets done here, we might tow it around with this engine here for the different uh, uh, factories, VIP. We might back it into the courier at noontime full of pizzas and soda and say, come on, we'll give you a ride. So that, that's basically where it's at. It's for the love of it.